everybody, so we all know by now, and if you don't, then you should, that Medit have a new um, Splint app that is free. And you don't just have to have a Medit scanner for it, obviously, that helps the streamline workflow if you do, but you can use any scan by bringing it into the attachments uh, to be able to use this. And if you don't know how to do that, then you need to check out one of my previous tutorials on how to bring in scans into the attachments that you can check out on YouTube or you will have full access to this and other tutorials on the IDDA portal, digitaldentalacademy.ac.uk. So we can see we've installed the Splints app. You can see here on the top right hand side, um, the Splint app is this nice new little icon with a little blue uh, splint over the top of the arch. So we've got our scans that we can have either brought in. In this case, this was scanned with the i700. Uh, but let's go and make an upper splint for uh, this gentleman, which is me. So we're going to just have this scan. We're going to click the splint button, which will automatically load the new splint app. So let's have a look. The first time you load it, welcome to Medit Splint. You can learn more about the app. It'll take you through a walkthrough video, which we're gonna do now. Uh, or we can continue working, but I'm gonna this time click continue working, but not show this again, because I don't want it bothering me. And just like the other Medit apps, you're gonna have a similar sort of function where we are going to assign the data we're gonna use. It'll automatically bring in the maxilla and mandible if you've brought in a, if you've scanned with a Medit scanner, um, and you can see here, I've also made models with this before, but um, we don't need to do anything because it's scanned with a Medit scanner. It's already assigned the correct ones, so we can just go from there. You can also import local files, so you don't have to even bring things in with the attachments now with this. You, they've set this so that you can bring in scans from anywhere to bring in the uh, STLs to be able to use this. So let's click confirm. We're going to make a maxillary uh, splint. So I'm just going to click maxilla and then confirm. Now look at this. This is really nice. So we can go through the usual workflow with a manual creation or we can go through auto creation. So in this tutorial, let's go through auto creation and then we'll do a separate tutorial on the manual creation. We'll go over all of these different options. But for this video, I just want to show you how easy it is to make it with this AI function. So let's click confirm. And it's going to create the splint automatically. Let's see what it does. Now AI is definitely the future of where everything involved with CAD dentistry is headed. So I think there'll come a point where we are going to be um, seeing more and more involvement in AI in the actual prosthetic um, CAD design of every stage of every manufacturer. But look at that. While I've been gibbering on, that is it done. We have a splint made that's covered all the way around to the uh, upper second premolars. And you could potentially, if I turn off the uh, opposing arch, okay. We could just leave that at that. We could export it, we could print it, and it'll do the job nicely. Obviously, if we're gonna go through these stages manually, we can you know, choose how much coverage we want. We can make um, more or less coverage of the teeth, the gingiva, but for a very quick and easy process, that's very nice. And we can just export that into a um, printing software of whatever we have. If there's uh, one that's already assigned uh, with an integration into MediApp, we can use that. But let's compare that. We're gonna go through in the next tutorial how you do this manually going stage by stage through this. And also we'll look at how we create splints in Exacad and also in InLab. And we can compare all of them and see which one you prefer. Let's see which design you like the most. So. Watch the next tutorials and let's have a look at all of them.